Hello, Tim from SEO Content Machine Next and today you are watching a upload poster tutorial video. So this is a new feature that just been added in December 2019 and it's going to allow you to upload articles on your hard drive to any WordPress blog. So I'm going to go to upload poster, click on the new poster button and this is our interface. The first thing is we're going to choose a location for all our articles. So these have been pre-generated and it's going to show you a preview table down here. So on the left hand side we're going to select where our titles are coming from. If you have pre-generated a HTML article with a H1 tag then it's going to read, pick up that first H1 tag and use that as the title of the post. Otherwise you have other options such as the title tag if it exists. You can also use the file name of the actual article itself or you can use the very first line of the article. So today we're going to use H1 because it exists for one of the articles. And moving on next, uh, what is remaining is the body of the article. So it's going to show you a preview here. Moving on next, we can also set the category of our post. Now, when you are generating a HTML article, you might have to include this as a manual piece of text that you might want to include either via your template or add it in as custom content. It says category here. Unfortunately, our articles that I generated don't have a category tag, so no categories are being used. Similarly, also nothing for tags. However, there are an a auto tags function which will read the generated title and generate us a tag, which for the moment is blank because our title is less than three characters. Moving on to the final column here on the table is the scheduled date of our post. So we can choose what date we want our post to start from. So we can backdate it or we can even choose something in the future. By default it's going to choose your current date which is December the 13th. And uh, next we're going to choose our posting interval by default. It's going to choose an interval anywhere between 1 to 3 days. You can drag this out up to 30 days. Obviously if you're doing 30 to 30 days what's going to happen is you're going to get a post coming live on your blog once every month. So you can choose a posting interval uh, that is appropriate for you. I'm going to keep it at 1 to 10 days and we can verify this is working by looking at the schedule date and as you can see the first post will always be today and then 10 days later on the 14th of December another post will go live. Now we need to select what blogs we want to add. So I've already added a blog as you can see here. If this is blank for you, you want to go to Edit Add Blog and here you want to type or paste in the URL of the blog you want to add a post to. So this must be a WordPress blog. You must similarly add the admin, I mean the username and the password. If you want to group your blogs uh, later, you can add a grouping. Once you've uh, added the details, you press Add. If you want to remove anything, press Delete. Once you're happy with the uh, blogs, you click the back to selection button and it's going to allow you to click on this checkbox to select what blogs you want to post to. So I've only got one here to say so it's going to say post a blog once selected. If you had let's say for example 10 blogs on this list uh, when it comes to posting the articles it's going to go in a round robin fashion which means that it's going to go to your first blog and post second blog and post the next article. So if you have 10 posts waiting on your hard drive and 10 blogs selected, each blog is going to get one post exactly. So I'm going to verify my settings and click the button to close that. So I have the article location set, the post date, the posting article and of course the blogs I want posted. The only thing to do now is to click the post now button, click on the article task I mean the upload post task name which is going to take the folder and uh, see what's happening. So what we have here is it's creating a post list partial so that anytime this task if it ever fails for any reason if you rerun the task by clicking this button here it's going to resume from the last article that failed. So it's reading the partial it says two posts because we just started. It's posting obviously to our only blog because we've only added one and we've uh, posted this article and we've posted this article and it's uh, finished. So once that's done, the only thing to do is go back to your blog and verify that the posts are indeed live. Um, if you have any errors, it's going to display also here in this application log. 
If you have any questions or comments or any features requests, feel free to leave a comment on this video. You can always reach me anytime, info at seocontentmachine.com.